Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Uh, today is lesson 50 in my Investing 101 playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about price equity growth yield ratio. Yeah, it's quite a mouthful. So it's actually a continuation of the last few lessons. So last lesson we actually had price earnings growth ratio. The previous lesson we had price to earnings ratio and the previous lesson we had like earnings per share. So this actually accumulates and these are the few metrics that you can use when you are analyzing a certain stock or a certain counter. But please note that uh, all these ratios, right, you're supposed to calculate the ratio and then use them in relation to another counter, which means that if you're deciding between A and B or you want to see within a basket of stocks, like maybe 10 stocks, right, which one is more, more attractive, right, and you can't decide, then these are the ratios that you have to use. Okay, uh, so to accurately evaluate a stock, right, the, the, the thinking is that uh, we have to factor in both its future growth as well as dividend yield. So the last lesson we had price earnings growth ratio, that one, <coughs> that one was actually uh, just to evaluate future growth. So this one we actually included the dividend yield as well. So this is one step further from the last lesson which is price earnings growth ratio. Okay, so now it's a uh, price equity growth yield ratio, which is PEGY ratio, which is uh, factoring in dividend. Okay, so what's the formula for this? Okay, so PEGY uh, is equals to PE ratio. I removed the slash uh, so they don't confuse. Okay, so it's PE ratio divided by projected earnings growth plus dividend yield. So this projected earnings growth plus dividend yield, you add up together first, then you take PE ratio divided by the answer. So uh, I give you an example. So let's say company A has a PE ratio of 10 and a projected growth rate of 20 and a dividend yield of 4%. <coughs> so you key in the, the figures into the formula and then you get a result of 0 0.4167. Okay, if you think carefully, right, the it's actually the uh, your price to earnings ratio divided by your projected earnings growth plus dividend yield. So anything which is one, right, which is equal fair value. So anything which is smaller, that means that the denominator is a larger number than the numerator, right? Then you will get a fraction. So like this answer is 0 0.4167. If you think of what a ratio is, right, then you will realize that a PGY ratio of less than one is considered attractive. Means it indicates that the stock has high growth rate or high dividend yields. Then it's not factored into the price yet. Okay, so if your PE ratio, right, is a lot higher, Let's say if this PE ratio is 24, then your this one is 20, 24, divide become equal to 1, right? Then it's considered fair value. Okay, so if a PEGY ratio uh, is more than 1, uh, then the stock is considered expensive. Okay, so the PEGY has limitations, just like the previous few uh, metrics which I guided you all. Uh, every metric has limitation. So the PEGY uh, limitation is that it uses companies' uh, future growth pro projections, which means that the 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 director of the company or the the company puts out its uh, annual reports. Then it says, "Oh, um, my future growth projection is such and such." Okay, so if let's say the future growth is such and such, right? This is they say. Okay, like for example, a lot of things can happen. Like now, currently we have this COVID nineteen situation. Uh, all the projections which were projected for the last quarter right in the US stock market right all can throw out the window already because everything is gone out of whack okay uh, so the one thing is that uh, a lot of stocks right like some counters like uh, Berkshire Hathaway they don't issue dividends then some counters they issue dividends so this one takes into account uh, dividend payments as well dividend yield and then it factors it into your buying decision of whether the stock is cheap or the stock is overpriced. Okay, so the rule of thumb is that when PEGY ratio is less than 1, the stock is considered cheap. When PEGY ratio is more than 1, the stock is considered overpriced. Okay, so that's all from this lesson and I'll see you in the next video.